So I honestly hate beating up on this iPhone because I feel like I just, you know, bash it every single time I get a chance to. But truly, I kind of feel bad for this iPhone as well. And it's actually the iPhone 12 mini. In my opinion, this is probably one of those iPhones that isn't really worth it anymore. Now, if you personally own this phone and you still own it and you keep it and you enjoy your experience, then by all means own it, keep it for as long as you can. Because, you know, honestly, I would recommend keeping it for as long as you can so then the future iPhones can go down in value. You, but the iPhone 12 mini from its launch has been somewhat of a shaky device and looking at the future of these mini lineups it isn't really looking too solid but honestly the 12 mini isn't really worth it because the 13 mini that Apple is currently selling and it's probably going to continue to sell for a few years now is honestly a much better option for you than the iPhone 12 mini. So I say this to say, yeah, maybe the 12 mini really isn't the great of a phone that I would probably you know, recommend avoiding, but it's not to say iPhones are bad or anything. I think the contrary. The 12 mini size, the capability that you have within that small form factor is amazing. It's just the 12 mini was such a strange phone that it really just makes a lot more sense to go and buy something like an iPhone 13 mini especially if you're going in the brand new market. So let me break it down for you. The iPhone 12 mini base model is 64 gigabytes. And I have to keep reiterating this because in the future, the prices are probably going to be the same, you know, difference, but the, they're just going to be going down in $100 increments because, you know, the next iPhones are going to be coming out, so on and so forth. The 12 mini 64 gigabyte variant is that, you know, price tag which is being displayed right now. And in the future, it's going to be, you know, $100 cheaper than what it is currently. The difference between a 64 gigabyte iPhone 12 mini and the base model iPhone 13 mini is that difference. But the craziest thing out there is that an iPhone 12 mini base is 64 gigabytes. You can opt up for an iPhone 12 mini at 128 gigabytes, but that is going to increase the price. That price increase is so high that an iPhone 13 mini, the base model at 128 gigabytes is only $50 more expensive than an iPhone 12 mini. So in my opinion, this puts the iPhone you know, 13 mini at an even better category because it's only slightly more expensive than a brand new iPhone 12 mini. So that is if you're going in the brand new market. In fact, even in the used market, you can still find a lot of iPhone 13 minis for a little bit cheaper than what they're going for in the brand new market. But if you want to wait even like an extra month or two when the iPhone 14s come out, these phones are going to be going down even more in the used market. And it's going to put the iPhone 12 mini at a very weird spot because very soon it's going to be probably the cheapest iPhone Apple is selling. And because of that, it truly just doesn't make any sense to, you know, buy this phone anymore because it just really isn't worth it. And I would probably recommend buying these phones in the used market. So I'd recommend buying something like an iPhone 13 mini in the used market because it's probably going to be cheaper than a brand new iPhone 12 mini even for the next year or so. So honestly, that's kind of it. You know, this is the one iPhone that I don't think is really worth it anymore. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.